Hey drummers, hope you're well. Just a little fun one for you. Shout out to channel member Steve. This is the short linear phrase, right, left, right, left, kick, kick. And this video is uh, one of several now in a series about little linear moments, little units of right and left and kick drum sometimes, and potentially even the hi-hat as well, uh, that make up these little, little units, which I personally use all over the place. And here in particular, we're thinking about being creative on drum fills, coming up with some interesting stuff. Uh, it doesn't have to be, but very often I find with these sort of fills, we pick a solid note value and we just play these phrases. You might combine them in different ways. Uh, but here I'm just going to play right, left, right, left, kick, kick. I'm going to present a couple of different ways of doing it, but let's just play with the basic pattern a little bit first of all. Again, right, left, right, left, kick, kick. That is, of course, six notes long. If you're left-handed, left, right, left, right, kick, kick. So the first thing to do, sit with it, have a little play with it, make friends with it, fall in love with it a little bit. And based on my own experience of uh, learning things like this and uh, working with lots of different students and channel members on uh, this phrase and, and phrases like this, the most important thing is to remember evenly spaced out hits. Nothing about the kick drums have a different rhythm or anything like that. Uh, in this style, we're looking to play evenly spaced notes. Onus is on, of course, accuracy and just going as, as slow as you like. As I, I'm a big fan of working on everything, basically on the drums in two ways, as you've probably heard me waffle on about before. Number one, going at a steady tempo, so put on your click. And keep it steady and then uh, uh, alternating that with slow to fast to slow. So you start off, as the name suggests, nice and slow. Work up to fast, as in I always think of it as like that lovely improvement zone where you can just about still do the thing, but there's definitely that sense that you're being challenged with it. Maybe your tension level goes up just a little bit, but you're still playing it. You don't have to stop. Maybe a five or a six out of ten tension, something like that, and you bring it back down. I'll do that now. So nice and slow. You work your way up. Hold it there for a bit. And work your way back down again. The idea is when you're going slow and deliberate, you're showing your hands and your feet and your brain working together. Those combinations, letting that bed in, letting that settle. As you pick up speed, obviously you're then you're asking your brain to perform that same series of movements, but a bit quicker. Uh, hold it there, 10 seconds, 20 seconds if you can. Bring it back down again. I think that's such, such a great way to practice, really overlooked by a lot of drummers, in my opinion, in my experience. Slow to fast to slow. So let's just think of a couple of examples of this now, so that you've worked with it a bit and you've got a feel for right, left, right, left, kick, kick. Uh, let's think of a couple of drum fills. Let's do one. Uh, let's do one that's a, like a sextuplet thing, and let's do one which is a 16th note thing. So in both cases here, well, let's do a nice... It's a simple fill in that the, the, the concept is simple. So let's play six tuplets first of all. So that's six notes per beat to this rhythm. Um, rashes and sausages, right? On each on each drum. Rashes and sausages, rashes and sausages, rashes and sausages, rashes and sausages on each beat. So we're going to play that uh, basic pattern. Right, left, right, left, kick, kick. Now, the thing is, that's a one bar fill, right? If you're going to finish on two kicks like we are here, that always presents the question of what am I going to do to get into the 
what am I going to hit with the crash symbol? Do I do three in a row? You could do. You could use your double kick, do three in a row. What I quite like to often do, and let's do this in the example here, is I like to hit the snare and the crash on beat one coming out of the field that has a double kick at the end, like this. So right, left, right, left, kick, kick. Four times. You're getting that and it lands on a snare and a crash just for a change on beat one. You then hit the snare as normal for the back beat on beat two. One, two, three, four. Two, three, and here we go. Here it comes. Obviously, once you've got the feel for it, you can move your sticks around the kit any way you like. That's a really fun part of it, I think. So that's a sextuplet example. As ever, on the channel members page just now, I'll post um, the notation and the practice along versions for both of the fills that I'll present here, both the example fills. And let's do a 16th note one as well. Let's take the same pattern. If we went one E and a two E and a three E and a. So here, let's play that right, left, right, left, kick, kick phrase twice. That's going to give us one E and a two E and a three E and a. So we need four E and a. We need four more sixteenth notes. Let's just go right, left, right, left at the end. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. One bar groove, one bar fill. Here's the sixteenths. One E. Okay, let's go actually real slow on that. And one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. All right. And 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 Okay, let's go three bars groove, one bar fill. And the orchestration is in how you play it around the kit, do it any way you like. That one, right, left, right, left, kick, kick, right, left, right, left, kick, kick, right, left, right, left. So just two examples for you. The basic little unit we're working with here is right, left, right, left, kick, kick. Uh, play around with it, get to know it. So much fun. We can then, uh, two, well, two examples. Obviously, there's hundreds, thousands of examples you could come up with. These are my two. Firstly, sex tuplets. And a sixteenth note fill. Just two examples. Like I say, shout out to Steve who's working with that. Shout out to channel member Eddie as well for suggesting rashes and sausages way back as a way of uh, like uh, saying 
k- keeping rhythm with when you've got a group of six, like a sextuplet, rashes and sausages. And thanks for watching as always. Really appreciate it. Shout out to all the amazing channel members and supporters of this channel who buy me a coffee. Thanks so much. If you found um, these videos useful, helpful, please consider supporting in that way. I'll put the link below. And uh, have fun. Loads more of these little linear phrases coming up for you. Um, any questions, give us a shout. See you soon. Cheers.